Good morning, everyone. Hi. Hi, Sagey. Hi. Hi, guys. Good morning. Before we get too far in today's vlog, I would like to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Pet Cube. Pet Cube is a line of cameras made specifically for pets. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pet Cube Cam. So this camera was very nice and small and compact and it was super easy to set up as well. All I had to do was download the app and connect the camera to Wi-Fi. The camera is also super easy to mount wherever I liked. It actually had a little magnet on the back of it that I could just stick with adhesive to my wall wherever it liked and the camera just sort of magnetized right onto it. And I really like that in cameras. I find that it's really difficult sometimes to find the right angle for my guinea pig cages when I just simply have to set a camera on a shelf. But with this little magnetic adhesive mounting technique, it's really easy to be able to put the camera wherever I need to get the best angle of my guinea pig cages. The app has all the features that I need in a pet camera as well. I can take photos on it. I can take videos on it. It has night vision. I can hear through the camera and I can also talk through the camera and have it play where my guinea pigs will be able to hear me. In addition, this camera has one really interesting thing that sets it apart from every other pet camera I've tried, and that is that it actually has an explore function. So the Pet Cube app actually has an explore page where people can put their own Pet Cube cams sort of on public, and then you can go and view other people's pets and see what they're up to. Well, this was a really interesting function and something that I actually had never seen before in a pet camera app, and I actually found quite a few guinea pig cages on the explore floor as well as quite a couple cats and dogs and just all sorts of animals. I think there was even someone's ferret who was on the explore page. So I think it's just really a neat function and a camera that I haven't seen before to be able to sort of watch other people's pets and see what they're up to. If you guys are interested in getting a pet camera, I definitely recommend the Pet Cube one. It's super effective, does everything you need for a very low price. So if you guys are interested in getting your own Pet Cube camera, I will have a link down in the description and I also have a discount code for you guys. You can use the code Code Autumn Grace 5 for 5% 5 off your camera. Again, thank you to Pet Cube for sponsoring today's video. So the first thing that I do every morning now is turn on Stardust Lamp. This is a reptile lamp and it helps her absorb more vitamin D, which helps her synthesize and absorb more calcium, which helps her with her satin syndrome. So I had this on for about 12 hours a day. So I just turn that on very early in the morning as soon as I wake up. And then it's actually time to do Stardust medication for the morning. So for Stardust, she actually has to fast for 30 minutes before and after this new experimental medication that we're trying her on. I'll put the name of the medication on the screen. It is given to people for osteoporosis to help slow or halt the deterioration of their bones. And so my vet decided to do a trial with Stardust and give her that same medication on obviously a smaller dosage to see if it will slow or halt her deterioration of her bones due to her satin syndrome. So people have to fast for an hour before and after the medication, but my vet is having Stardust fast for 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after because guinea pigs tend to metabolize things faster. So every morning I just put her in this little box which is completely free of hay no food at all in here just to make sure that she is properly fasting. All right, so there she is. I just stuck her in this box and she's pretty used to this by now. She's got her tunnel in here. She'll just start to lay down. She doesn't get too stressed out about it usually. I think I'm gonna move the box to the floor so that she doesn't try to like think she's in her cage. So I usually just have the box on the floor here. As you can see, the floor is a mess. We're gonna to get to that later. But I usually just keep her box here on the floor, set a timer on my phone for 30 minutes, and then I come back and do her medication. And then I have to wait another 30 minutes after that. So we'll see you guys in 30. All right, so Stardust is back in her cage. I think she's, yeah, she's under this pile of hay, which is great because that way she's actually like under her vitamin D lamp. So that's really great. She spends a lot of time in that hay pile right there. 
but I think next I'm going to be cleaning up the floor because I do have to do health checks today. So I'm gonna be doing health checks for everyone. And then Miss Marshmallow over here, definitely getting a bath. I don't know if you guys can see her butt. It's pretty yellow there. Um, so she's going to be getting a bath and I think Pepper will also get a bath. They're the ones who need it most. Um, they like to pee and then just sit in it and they get really dirty. Marshmallow needs a hair trim, but everybody needs to be weighed and everybody needs a health check. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the floor here so that I'll have some space to do the checks. All right, everyone, so now the floor is completely clean. It actually didn't take too long, probably only like 30 minutes to clean all of that up. And it's actually almost 3 p.m. Um, I slept in pretty late today, so it's almost already 3 p.m. So I'm actually going to take a quick break and eat something. And then I think we'll get to the health checks in the baths because I've just like putting off doing the bath because I know it's just going to be such a big ordeal and I also have to like clean off my whole sink area and everything. So I'm gonna take a break and get something to eat and then I will be back for everything else. All right guys, so it is now time for health checks. I ate a little lunch, I had a pizza, watched some TV and now I'm just ready to power through these health checks. So I have my entire health kit here, which is huge. I probably won't need most of it for today and then I also have my scale. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the pigs health checks first and then we'll do the bath for those who need it. So I'm going to be doing weights. I'm gonna be clipping nails, just whoever needs whatever nails. And I'm also going to be doing my ivermectin, which is right here. They are due for a preventative ivermectin dose. So each guinea pig will be getting about a pea size, oops, pea size drop of this ivermectin paste. And then I also have like baby wipes in here, stuff for cleaning, uh, stuff for board cleanings, just anything that anyone needs. I have it in my kit right here, but basically I'll just be doing um, nails, ivermectin, looking them over, stuff like that. And then the grooming will come with the baths for Marshmallow after I give her her bath, I'll groom her then. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start on health checks. I'm gonna start with Sage here. I like to check the ears, the teeth, make sure they look normal. There's nothing stuck in them. And then for the girls, I like to look at their nipples, make sure they're not crusty, make sure everything looks normal down here. And so physically everything's looking great. She feels fine. And then I don't see any issues with mites or anything in her fur, no dry skin, nothing like that. So I'm gonna give her her ivermectin, and then clip her nails, and then do her weight. So it looks like this is pretty much like the same type of tube that the um, that my Benabat comes in. I don't want too much to come out. I'm scared a bunch is gonna squirt out. Do about 
this much here on my finger. I kind of squirted out too much. I'm just gonna kind of wipe this one off on a paper towel. All right, now I'm gonna check over her nails. get her weight real quick. All right, 1072 grams. All right, next up, I'm going to do Stardust. I actually just clipped her nails, I wanna say about a week ago, just because I noticed her specifically We're getting a little bit longer, so she won't need any nail trimming today. See, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. It all like comes out at once. So I'm gonna go with what I have on my finger here because it keeps squirting out way too much. Okay, 8.56. I have Peanut, not very easily, but I do have her. Come here. I'm gonna clean out her ears a little. They look a little dirty. Um, I have my coconut oil here, but I'm gonna go grab my Q-tips. Now I'm gonna try to do this ivermectin again. So as you can see, Peanut tried to literally throw herself off of this. Um, she really hates being handled. Into the bowl, into the bowl. All right, 9.35. So I got Marshmallow. I'm gonna bathe you on if I should trim any of her hair before her bath. I feel like it might be easier to bathe her if she has less hair. So I'm gonna trim a little bit on the back. All right, now we have Pepper. See, I'll show you guys her bum. See, it's a little bit yellow there. Not quite as bad as marshmallows because her fur is not as long, but still will probably need a bath. recently neutered so you can actually see his incision here is almost completely healed his fur has started to grow back in this area as well so he will be ready to move in with some of the girls in about four to five more weeks but as you can see he's still a little hormonal he's getting hormonal you see him sh like rumbling he's doing that over the smell of the girls so I do hope that that calms down within the next month or so before he is bonded with them, just so that he's not overly hormonal like he is right now. I actually wanted to see how he would react to their smell. That's why I didn't do him first, because I didn't want to see how he would react. And I can see that he's still a little bit hormonal. So hopefully within the next month or so, he calms down a little bit more. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna have to grab Waffles. Waffles, I know, is definitely going to need a board cleaning. He always needs one. Um, he's a little bit older, too. 
So it's just a little bit grosser down there. I've been cleaning pretty much everyone's ears tonight. Not everyone, but more than I normally do. Just because I feel like I really want to get anything out of there. It's also kind of satisfying. I just got a big chunk of something out of his ear. All right, so all of the health checks are now done. I don't know how long it took me. I feel like it just took me probably almost an hour, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour, but everyone is all done. And now it is time to do the bath for Pepper and Marshmallow. I think they're the only ones who need a bath. I'm going to be using this shampoo right here. This is the Mike and Ozzel shampoo. This is an antifungal shampoo. I'm not using it for antifungal purposes. This is just in general the shampoo that I use when I bathe my guinea pigs. I only give baths every couple of months and usually not even for all of them. I don't really give back to the pigs that are dirty or pigs that need it because of a fungal infection, which I haven't actually dealt with before yet, luckily. So the only pigs who will be in your bath are Pepper and Marshmallow, and they will be getting it with this shampoo. And I usually only do a bum bath. Marshmallow might get a little bit more than a bum bath, but Pepper will definitely only get a bum bath because that is all she needs. I'm gonna go ahead and give them their baths. Um, I'll show you guys my bath setup, but hopefully it won't take me too long. I'm gonna wash my hands too after cleaning waffles uh bore area i definitely think i need to wash my hands so i'm gonna go do that but everyone's weight is good everyone looked good so no worries at all and it's just time to do these baths all right this is where we're going to be doing the bath i'm sorry for the terrible lighting and probably terrible audio as well but i like to always put a towel in the bottom of my sink and as you can see i just cleaned all of this and then i like to get my water set to probably about lukewarm I'm gonna be starting with Pepper. Nothing too fancy, I'm just gonna get her wet, lather on the soap, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then rinse it off. I'm just making sure I get this all in around her hind area back here. Like I said, that's the only area I'm really going to be washing today. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. All right, so it's almost been 10 minutes. She's got about a minute left. I'm just hitting the temperature of the water right again. She's been eating some arugula while she waits. She seems to be not too freaked out. She keeps looking at herself in the mirror, but besides that, she's doing okay. And now the most important thing is here is just to make sure that I get every single bit of the soap out. I don't want to leave that on, have it dry out her skin. I don't want anything like that. So I'm just gonna make sure that I get all of the soap out. All right, now I have it right here. And now I will be using a blow dryer to dry her off. I usually set it on like cool or warm and then just blow dry her till she's completely dry.
I just put Marshmallow back after she bit me a million times through my shirt. I thought maybe like wearing a thicker sweatshirt would help, but um, no, she bit all up on my arms and stuff and like threw me on my stomach too while I was blow drying her and brushing her. She always does that. I don't know why I had like held out hope that today uh, she wouldn't try to bite me. I think it's just her way of saying that, you know, she doesn't want to be doing this, which is fair. I also don't want to be doing this, but unfortunately like she does need to be brushed and she does need to be bathed occasionally and groomed. So like it has to be done and I try to do it as little, as infrequently as possible to decrease her stress. But every couple months I do need to do like a bath and a groom and brushing. So she's probably gonna be mad at me for the rest of the night, which is fine. It's fine. She'll probably uh, come back around to me. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> I think it's all her hair. It's like in there. Uh, she'll probably come back around to me and warm back up to me in probably a couple of days. But it is now pretty late. I'm trying to find where's my phone. Let's see what time it is. It's now 10 20, which is pretty getting pretty late. I haven't done as much today as I had originally planned. I was also going to clean the bunny area and do the bunny grooming, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow and just continue this vlog into tomorrow. So it'll be more than one day. So I'll be back tomorrow to do more stuff. But for tonight, all that I have left to do is medication and veggies. So I just quickly spot cleaned everyone's cage. So it didn't take me too long. Everyone's all clean. Everyone has fresh hay. I just need to fill up the boys' water bottles down here. But right before I go to bed, I'm going to do veggies and also Stardust medication. So right here, I have her two evening medications. One is her gabapentin for pain management. Everybody's going crazy. And then the other is her calcium supplement, which we have to supplement because of the experimental medication. When she is on that medication, she has to have a supplement of calcium and vitamin D. So this is a calcium supplement. And then the lamp supplements her vitamin D. So I'm gonna see if she takes these willingly tonight. Sometimes she does not. She took a little. Sage, they're not for you. And also I'm going to be bonding Stardust and Sage in about two days. That won't be in this video, but it will probably be in my next video, but I'm super excited. I think they're going to bond really, really well. They've been living beside each other for a bit of time. They have very similar personalities. They're both very laid back. Neither of them are dominant. Sage maybe a little bit more so than Stardust, but even then Sage was submissive to Honey. So I don't think, um, there will be any issues with the bonding here. And I realized I haven't actually um, mentioned it in this vlog yet, probably just because it's a little bit difficult to actually talk about, but um, Honey did pass away last week. Um, it's hard to have a serious conversation when they're all screaming in the background, but Honey did pass away last week. Um, I think it was on Thursday, May 19th, um, I came home from work and found that she had uh, passed away while I was gone. I was only gone for literally like four to five hours, but I guess in that time she just decided that it was her time to go. Um, I had known that she would be passing soon. I did not know that it was going to be that 
day, I honestly thought that I would notice her not eating anymore, um, not greeting me when I came in the room and stuff like that. But, you know, the night before she passed, she ate her veggies and then in the morning of the day that she passed, she even took her medication on her own. So she never like stopped eating. She never stopped acting like herself, which I think really was um, a kind of a blessing to not have to like see her stop acting like herself at all. But I did just want to mention it in this video because, you know, obviously Honey is not here in this vlog. Um, I was going to make sort of like a memorial video for her. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to or not. I sat down and I tried to start it and then I just didn't know where I wanted to go with it. I didn't feel like I, feel like I could find the right music. So I don't know if I will be making a memorial video for her or not. Um, perhaps, I haven't really decided yet, but I do have a post over on my Instagram, um, sort of a little memorial post for her there. But um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, obviously she will be greatly missed and um, I cried a lot when I found her and on the next day as well. Um, I took her the following day to the vet. I'm gonna have her cremated. Um, and they're gonna do like a little paw print and like a little clay thing too, which is really nice. But um, yeah, she will be dearly missed and um, I wish I had had more time with her, but um, as we all know, she was very old, she was very ill and she hung on for a lot longer than I would have expected a pig with her condition to. So um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention it. So, you know, you guys aren't just left wondering what happened if you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, Honey did pass away last week and that's why I'm going to be bonding Sage and Stardust in a couple of days because I don't want Sage to be alone for too long. And Stardust clearly is doing well on her new medication so she's able to be bonded. I think they're going to make a really good pair and um, hopefully the bonding goes well but I just want to quickly mention that. But anyway, um, it is time for bed for me. I'm going to go ahead and give all of the guinea pigs their veggies and then I'm going to go ahead and shower and get all of Marshmallow's gross wet fur off of me and then I will see you guys tomorrow. everyone it is the next day it is literally noon um i slept in pretty late today but i have already done all of the pet meds and everything so everyone's good for the morning and it's time for me to have some breakfast at noon um i don't really know what we have to make i think i'm just going to have like some fruit or something maybe so i was thinking that i would do like bananas and peanut butter. Um, I don't know if you all have seen like the little snack where it's like slices of banana with peanut butter in the middle. But I've been making it a lot and it's really, really good. And I thought that I would make that for breakfast because besides that, we don't have any bread or toast or anything. We only really have eggs and I just completely did not do that right. But I'm not really feeling. Oh, this banana's old. Oh, it's mushy. No. Maybe we have to make a smoothie if my bananas look like this. Yeah, all my bananas are pretty, pretty soft. I really wanted the bananas and peanut butter thing. I guess maybe we have to make a smoothie then. This is actually really sad. So I think I'm actually going to make a smoothie bowl instead. I think that will be good for today. Um, that way I can use the banana, at least one banana. And then I also just feel like that's the second best thing to what I was craving. Good morning guys. Good morning. <laughs> they made this mess for me. Um, I don't know why they decided to make such a mess. Hi guys. 
Hi, do you want your palettes? So I got them this really fancy new toy for enrichment, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get the palettes in there because they're all over me right now. Here. You guys go. <laughs> you go. So essentially it's like three different little levels here. And then you put pellets in each level and they have to pull out the little blue things in order to get the pellets to come all the way out the bottom. So I've seen Crow do it. Crow has figured it out. Um, Luna has not. She either just takes what he's figured out or they take this entire thing off and like flip it over. But that's sort of what it's like set up like. And then it also has the three little tiny ones, which are pretty easy for them to get. Um, the tower is pretty fancy because they do have to pull on these things to pull it out. At first I was like, thought it was gonna be really challenging for them, but then Crow got it on the first try, basically. It's definitely a little bit more advanced than some of my other toys. I think I'm going to have to keep getting more and more advanced toys. I think I keep underestimating them. Um, clearly they're pretty good at figuring stuff out. So I'm gonna have to get some more intense foraging toys, but they just have to pull all three of these out by the little ropes and all the treats will come out the bottom. All right guys, so now it's time for a little bit of a haul. I have a huge package here to open from Little Fur Fleece. They sent me so much stuff. This is a huge box. I'm really, really excited. The stuff on their shop is so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I thought it would be a great thing to include in today's haul. And when I say huge box, I mean the box is like literally this big and it's full of new hides. So I'm super, super excited. All of her stuff on her shop seems really, really unique. So I'm excited to see what she sent me. I told her to just sort of pick whatever she likes based off what she thinks my style is. So I'm pretty excited. Oh my gosh. I think this is for my rabbits. It's like a little, I, they call them different things on different shops, like little snuggle buns or like, um, loaf pillows so i'm really excited i've actually been wanting one of these for so long so thank you so much for sending me this my rabbits are gonna love this i've been wanting to try one for a really long time um i've seen that rabbits really love these style pillows so thank you so much i'm gonna try this out for sure in this vlog to see how they like it oh my gosh she sent me so much we have this bed here which is really cute it has all these little little what are these narwhals? Is that what they're called with the little horns? That's literally so cute. And this one has a pee pad, oh, two pee pads as well to go with it. This is so cute. And then so many pee pads. Oh my gosh. I don't know if these are for like tunnels that are in here, but she sent me so many little pee pads. These are the perfect size for like tunnels or like the bunk beds that I have from the pig room. So this one has a little polar bear on it. And then, oh, this one's a coffee one. That's so cute. And then we have Flamingo, all these little bears, little princess castle, and little ladybugs. Thank you, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, wait. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by the things that are further in here. I saw she had this on her shop, and I was really secretly hoping that she would decide to send me one of these because look how cool this is. It's like a corner, Heidi house, but it has two entrances. I've been wanting to try one of these for honestly so long. They're really interesting. I think they're really neat. And I love that they have two entrances as well. And she gave me two triangle pee pads too. But look how cool that is with the two entrances. I definitely think my girls are gonna love this. I feel like it's really nice and like secluded and there's a lot of space in here as well. But it also like doesn't take up a lot of space in the cage because it's made to fit in the corner. This is really, really cute. I cannot wait to try this out. And then I love this pattern. 
these rainbows and two pee pads for this one too. Thank you so much. This is so cute. I actually feel like I've seen this pattern before and I really, really love it. I have a bunch of other like rainbow fleeces and stuff. So this is really, really cute. It goes really well with all of those. And I still can't get over the bee thing. I'm obsessed with the corner, the corner thing. And I also have a bee fleece that this will match really well with. So that's exciting. Oh wait, I love this pattern. Guys, look, isn't this so fun? This makes me really want to do like a summer cage theme because I have a lot of like really bright neon like summery colors and hides now. So this makes me really want to do like a summer cage theme and I love the flowers on this. I have a lot of like plain like fleece liners. So this goes really, really well with those to have something a lot more like fun and like patterny. Oh, and a tunnel too. Okay, so I see it's like a little tunnel so it's more open at one end but the other end is open so they can go all the way through if they want but it also sort of can be like a little cuddle sack so it's kind of a two-in-one which is really really nice I like that a lot and then oh then she got me two of them I'm assuming that's what these pee pads are for as well those are so exciting I'm gonna have to try these out like as soon as I can oh this is fun this is like a little egg shape type thing which is really cool. I love all her hides are such like unique shapes. Like I don't normally see like the triangle and like this little egg thing. I feel like I don't normally see hides that shape. So it's really, really fun. I really love this. And again, this pattern is so fun and summery. I'm gonna have to do a summer cage theme soon because I have a lot of like summery patterns that I think I just need to sort of put together and use because I love this pattern and I love this pattern. I have other fun bright stuff as well. It's like a little egg. This is so cute. It's really big too. Like this is really really big on the inside. Oh my gosh guys. This is so fun. I'm trying to figure out which way it goes. This is huge. This beautiful purple butterfly pattern right here. Look at this and then look how huge this is. I have another hide that's a similar shape to this but it's not as big as this one. It's huge and then look at the little pillow with the little butterfly look how cute this is isn't that so cute and then she also made some pee pads for this as well there is so much cute stuff here i really love the patterns and i really love all the different unique size hides so i'm trying to pick up okay for all the stuff that's in here she wrote me a note at the very bottom so I'm gonna look through the note now. I didn't see it at first because it was in the bottom of the box, but she also included washing instructions, which is really nice. Sometimes with hides, I have to sort of guess how to wash them, but I really like that she included um, washing instructions with these. So she listed out everything that she gave me here. And this is for Luna and Crow, which I'm super excited about. I honestly, I opened all the other stuff that I forgot this was here, but I'm really excited for them to try this out. I think she refers to it as a flop bed. So like I said, these are called a lot of different things, but in general, I've heard that the supportive sides and then like the way the bed is built, make it like a really appealing bed for rabbits, especially older rabbits. Sometimes when rabbits get a little bit older, it's hard for them to like maintain their balance when they're laying down. And the supportive sides here can be really good for that. And my rabbits are getting a little bit older. They're gonna be five in a couple months. So I'm really excited to try this out. And then she pointed out in her letter, but I really do like this about these. All of these have like two exits. So even the snuggle sacks have a back exit so that piggies can't trap each other in the back, which is really great. That is something that happens a lot with even some of my girls is they'll trap each other in houses. So having like a back exit, even on a cuddle sack is really, really nice. And that's why there's two entrances and this little triangle thing as well. And it also was wonderful because I'm doing another bonding soon, like I said, with Sage and Stardust. So having more hides with two exits is really, really great. And sometimes I feel like just boring tunnels aren't really like it's not as exciting for the pigs when all they have is tunnels after a bonding. But with this, like this has two hides and this is more of like a cuddle sack. So it'll definitely be really nice for them to have some different kinds of hides post bonding besides just tunnels. This is so cute. Thank you, Susan, so much for sending me all this stuff. I'm really, really, really excited to try it all out. This 
this is just so fun for me. They're all such fun shapes and I'm excited to try out these new hides and see how my pigs like them. So definitely go ch check out her shop. I will have it linked down below. Again, it is Little Fur Fleece and these are some really interesting and exciting hides and I just cannot wait to try them out. So you guys should definitely all go check out her shop. All right, so it is now 10 p.m. and I just got home from work and it is time to do a bit of cleaning. Um, usually right when I get home from work, I try to just go ahead and do all of the pet stuff and get it out of the way. And then I sort of shower and relax. So I'm still literally in my work clothes, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do all the cleaning. Um, main thing is the rabbit area and then also guinea pig spot cleans. And then we will be doing veggies after that. But first I'm gonna take care of the rabbits. everyone and that is where I'm going to end today's vlog. It is almost midnight so it is definitely time for me to go and get some sleep because tomorrow is bonding day for Stardust and Sage and I'm very very excited. Hopefully it goes well. That will probably be my next video, a little bonding video. Hopefully it will be a successful bond but thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe to see more of my content and I will see you all again next week. Bye.